How's it going, Mama Llamas? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Anomaly, but you can call me Allie for sure, of course. We all friends here. Uh, and welcome to part one of Antonia's Legacy. She is so stinking cute. I love her. Look at her face. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and <laughs> um, unpause. So yeah, guys, my name is Allie. I do primarily Sims 4 videos on my channel. But here on my channel, I do a lot of storytelling, even in um, my challenge Let's Plays. So like I have 100 Baby out. Uh, one touch your baby challenge out right now and that actually does have a little bit of story in it You know, you wouldn't think it would but it does but this is miss Antonia Mendez and this let's play with her will be solely story driven No clear goals nothing that we are really shooting for Um, just kind of watching Antonia's life unfold before our eyes. I think that would be really fun um, something that I would love to see her do, her life flourishing, and she is just, she's super cute. Um, I posted a picture of her on Twitter, and somebody said that uh, she reminded them of this character from the Goofy movie, like the girl in the movie, and I was like, oh my god, I can't unsee it. Like, look at that. They are so right. Um, but anyways, so yes, I'm going to go ahead and give you just uh, the backstory in a little bit of a nutshell. Not going to give you guys the whole thing. I will have her create a sim um, and her machinima uh, trailer for this Let's Play up in the right hand corner and down in the description. But before it gets too dark tonight, also she is stanky, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and bring up her genealogy. So this is Antonia, and when Antonia was an infant, she was found uh, in a trash can, believe it or not, in a trash can as a newborn baby, crying her eyes out. Um, and her mom, Crystal, was coming home one night uh, from working at a diner, and she heard Antonia crying um, in the far distance, but she thought it was a cat. <laughs> I don't know. She thought it was a cat for some reason, so she's like, oh my god, a crying kitten. I'm about to take you. But when she got closer and closer, she she saw Antonia's little baby body in the friggin' trash can and she was like oh my god it's a baby so she called her husband Marco um keep in mind they were only newlyweds so I'd say like two or three years into marriage she called him and she was like oh my god I found a baby in the trash can get what you need get formula get a crib whatever and so they brought Miss Antonia home. And the next day, Crystal took Antonia to the police station to try to figure out who her parents were, if they could find them. And they actually could not find them, despite like having DNA, like, you know, like getting DNA from Antonia. You would think they would be able to find her parents, but um, the database just didn't show it. So they adopted Antonia, which thank the Lord, because Crystal and Marco. Um, at the time, we're having infertility issues, so they were actually trying for a baby actively, but they couldn't have a child. So Antonia was their literal gift from God, as they say. And then actually, a few years later, um, they got really lucky and actually had a baby girl naturally named Mariella. And um, you wouldn't think that these two are not biological sisters. Like, they are super, super close, um, really. Like, they just have a bond that you can never even imagine of, even though Antonia is not blood related to any of these people um they are her family like she will always see them as her family but as antonia is growing older um she <laughs> she obviously you know she's been kind of wondering who her parents were and why they made the decision to leave her in a trash can you know what i mean like obviously you are going to wonder i mean i'm not adopted but i would you know i would i would assume that if you are adopted and you never really knew who your parents were you would kind of wonder you know what i mean um but who is this uh darley <laughs> never heard of that name but darling's like you go antonia you doing good um, but I think we're gonna go ahead and stop uh, shooting some hoops because Antonia's liking it, I can tell. Like I was saying, you know, she wants to know who her parents were and why she was left in such um, a terrible condition. Um, I mean, a trash can. Like, are you kidding me? Uh, Antonia's like, are you kidding me? Like, why would you uh, leave me in a trash can if I was your child? But um, her parents, Crystal and Marco, they kind of fear the worst that if Antonia were to find out who her parents were, um, that she would just kind of abandon Marco and Crystal and like leave them for her biological parents, which is absolutely not true. Like Tony would never ever do that. Also, if I say Tony, it's Antonia. 
Um, I just like to call her that for short, but Marco and Crystal are actually Hispanic, and so Antonia was raised um, learning Spanish and English. Why can't you take a shower? Okay, no, 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 no. don't take a mud bath, sis. Why are you taking a mud bath? I don't know why. Okay, take, um, take a brisk shower, if you will. Can you do that, please? Thank you. Okay, I don't know why. Oh, she walked in with her shoes, too. She was like, I'm lazy, girl. I feel you. She's actually bilingual, which I think is super awesome. Obviously, um, Mariella is, too, even though she is, um, like, fully Hispanic. Both of her parents are Hispanic. She was raised learning English as well, so I think that's super cool. Um, Antonia has a lot more ways to communicate with people, but definitely feel like... Oh, <laughs> She has her, um, they had Pride Day yesterday and I put her in a Pride outfit. I'm gonna have to change that, but, um, this Let's Play is pretty much for now going to be about her living her life here in the city and kind of focusing more, too, on just finding out who her real parents were. And I don't really know if she's ready for that yet. I, I really don't know how Antonia, um, will react because I feel like she feels very betrayed by her real parents and what they did to her and how they just left her so mindlessly in the trash can. I feel like she's very hurt by that. But, uh, you know, curiosity is getting the best of her. I really do uh, feel like that. But Marco and Crystal truly have been uh, the best parents that they could ever be um, towards their child. Crystal could have easily taken Antonia, given her up for adoption, or put her in an orphanage. But no, she was like, I'm going to take hold and take care of this little baby girl. And so they have just such a strong family dynamic, and I, I really do love it. Um, so Mariella is about 19 right now, and Tony, I would say, is about 22 or 23. I mean, she just moved out of the house from college, so. But while she was at college, she actually ended up meeting three girls. So we have a Reagan Bird, uh, Mila Boudreau, and where is she? Ah, Bella Manning. So um, they all met in a science class at college, um, and she actually met Reagan first by accidentally spilling her water on Reagan, which was freaking hilarious, but they actually ended up getting super close. And they did meet Mila and Bella, and they're all just really close, like this really close group of friends, um, group of best friends. I love them so much. And you would think that Antonia would be the mom of the group just because, I don't know, she kind of looks like it. She kind of has those vibes. But actually, Reagan is the mom of the group. So like whenever the girls like go out and get like shit face drunk or something, I feel like Reagan would like bring out a person and be like, here, bitch, <laughs> here's some ibuprofen. Um, I'm the designated driver. I'm going to take you home, sis. <laughs> but Tony is a big lover of books. Um, I definitely feel like she would be a Harry Potter fan, Lord of the Rings fan. You feel me? But um, she does love the outdoors. She loves to camp. She loves to hike. Um, She's self-assured. So she is really confident in herself, which I love. But I know, I don't know, like maybe we'll see if um, that's confidence kind of goes down um, with whatever drama comes our way but she's also a bookworm and actually her aspiration is to be a best-selling author um, definitely something she has um, dreamed of her whole life and then if we go to her career she's currently a writer's assistant at the um journaling journalist office i have no idea newspaper office i have no idea but she does love to write and read um everything good uh loves to go to uh, bookstores and just sit down and read a good book i mean as you can see she's got um so she just moved in so she still has her suitcase right here but she has some of her favorite books from home. She brought them with her. Uh, we got some magazines. And actually, I will give you just a little bit of a house tour right here. So this is her bathroom. Uh, nothing too crazy. Very simple. Um, here's her living room, which I need to replace this because you can't get to uh, the fireplace with this in the middle. So I will definitely replace that. Um, here is her kitchen. Love it. Super simple again. And then her bedroom. She loves lemons. That's kind of like the thing <laughs> that's with her. Like, I don't know what it is about her, but she can eat a lemon like straight up. Like she'll just put it in her mouth and chomp on it. <laughs> and um, <laughs> Mariella is like, girl, what the heck? How are you eating a whole ass lemon by yourself? Like when nothing, like just a lemon. But um, Antonia's just a freaking freak. I love her. Um, but we have a mirror right here. And I actually do have reflections off just because um, it helps with my performance just a little bit. So sorry about that if that bothers you. But my game does run super smooth at the moment. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna um, sacrifice this for a low performance. But here's her dresser with some makeup. Um, she has some plants. She loves plants. Um, here's a plant right here. 
and here's her little office space um some arts and crafts stuff we got a decoration box tissues and her mom crystal actually made these little like snow globe things for her as a like, giving away present and <laughs> so she keeps them right here crystal was not ready for tony to leave she was like oh my baby no but <laughs> tony was like i'm sorry mom i'm sorry dad but like i'm ready to get out and live in the city also i have to fix this right here but she does have a little um keyboard here she doesn't use it too much it's just kind of like a side hobby that she likes to do um but yeah what else do we have um that's pretty much it she loves cupcakes so there you go <laughs> um but yeah here's her little apartment and she just moved in um just finished college so she is freshly moved in fresh in the city um her best friends live in the city as well and some other apartments so I definitely can't wait to see <laughs> um, what's going to happen with her life. So tomorrow, actually, which it's 1 a.m. right now. So tomorrow is night out on the town. So I definitely think we'll have to do something fun with the girls. She actually doesn't have work for two days, which is kind of weird. She It says she has it tomorrow, which is weird. But ooh, who is this running around? um lilith vator okay wait who's this wait hold up hold up hold up stop this up you cute oh it's brent never mind <laughs> um sorry tony he's he's kind of gay uh is there just a random cupcake just chilling okay i mean tony freak cupcake <laughs> oh my gosh okay i need to stop but i'm gonna go ahead and let tony sleep for the night and i will see you guys in the morning good morning you guys so tony is out on her morning run she's not too much of an athletic sim you know she's not crazy into like dieting or um eating healthy or whatever but she does like to start her day with just a little bit of a jog to get her blood flowing and it also kind of helps her with inspiration um with her writing so she's kind of been starting um a book recently and oh god oh god oh tony where are you at girl stop <laughs> i can't see you okay um are you done with your oh okay <laughs> Uh, are you who are you talking to? Um, okay, anyways, I guess she is done with her morning jog, so I do want her to go home and shower because she's stanky. Um, but anyways, like I was saying, she is starting a little bit of a book. Nothing too serious, just something for fun for her to practice her writing. But um, taking a jog in the morning is definitely something that gets her creative juices flowing, if you know what I'm saying. But she's going to shower because I don't know why she's wearing her shoes in the shower. Like, sorry, Tony, not to be weird. But do you see this? Like, is that a glitch? I don't know. I was kind of thinking um, her and Mari could get breakfast this morning. I think that would be really nice. So she's going to go ahead and invite her out to get something to eat. Where are you, Mariela? Yes, here you are. Okay. But something that kind of struck me um, with Antonia as soon as I made her was like, you know, she looks so badass. You know, you know what I'm saying? Also, let's see where we want to eat this morning. Um, what is this? Breadsticks. Let us eat the breakfast club. That sounds perfect. Um, by the way, we are in Little Simsy Save. I love it so much. Like I was saying, ever since I made Antonia, I got like, like she has all these tattoos like on her arms and her legs and she just seems so strong. And like she is, she's a very, very strong woman considering what she went through as a baby um but i definitely feel like also <laughs> she's she's in her party outfit right now girl no i mean you looking hot as hell but can we change please <laughs> i'm so sorry um okay anyway so let's get a table do we want to sit outside no it's kind of hot mm, actually yeah let's go ahead and do it um, but anyway, so when he's got all these tattoos and she looks like the type of girl to be very, very strong. And she is. I mean, one of her traits is self-assured and she is. She's confident in herself. But I want to see how that could change throughout the course of this Let's Play. Um, just letting you know now, this Let's Play is going to have a crap ton of drama. Like, I'm sorry, <laughs> but that's just something that I like to have in my game. Also, can we get our table, please? Wait, there we go. Okay, so let's get a table. Um, I don't want this part to be too long, just kind of an introductory um, part. But we're going to sit outside. And is this Mari? Oh, yes, yeah, she's looking good. Look how beautiful Mariella is. Like, she is a stunner. And so when I was making her and Mari, I wanted it to seem like they weren't related. I wanted them not to look too much alike. But if you look at them super close, they actually look like 
biological sisters and it's kind of crazy but mari go ahead and sit with us because we don't want to eat alone mari please okay there we go finally got it together dino is super freaking buggy but we're not gonna talk about that so let's go ahead and ask mariella about her day she is so freaking beautiful and as you can see they are super super close but i do want to go ahead and order for the table so we don't waste too much time because if you didn't know in the sims 4 like dine out like just eating a meal at a restaurant takes for freaking ever but what do i want for tony i think i'm gonna get her an espresso and for mariella i feel like she would get a mocha and then we're gonna skip the appetizers for now um kind of speed this up a little bit what would tony want um spinach and onion quiche that sounds uh, delicious and then Mari, I feel like, would get some French toast. But yeah, they do look very similar in a sense, but also very different. It's kind of weird to explain, but um, Mariella is super, like, vain. And not in a bad way. Like, she's not like, oh, I'm prettier than you. I'm better than you. She just, she loves herself a lot. And that's not a bad thing at all. Um, she is very, very family-oriented. Um, so is Tony too. Marco and Crystal definitely um, drilled those family values into Tony and Mariella. But for now, Tony is thinking about getting in touch with her biological parents um, or trying to find how who they were at least. Um, she's not too serious about it, but I feel like that'll definitely change um, with time. But let's enthuse the outdoors because Tony is in her element right now. She loves being outside, especially in the summer. Um, but, you know, in winter and spring and fall, especially fall, too. She really likes fall. <laughs> she just looks like a fall sim. You know what I mean? Got that auburn hair. Oh, she, she is super cute. I love her and I love her tattoos. Um, let me see if I can get a closer look at them. The quality is kind of low. Um, but I know she has on her thigh, she has this really big hand tattoo with an eye in it. Um, and I feel like to her, that kind of means like, you know, your hands, what you do with your hands have a lot of power and how you say things with your hands have a lot of power. Um, if that makes sense, like hand movements and stuff. She's just a very spiritual person. She's not religious or anything, but I feel like she does kind of dabble with like spirits and like different realms and dimensions. Nothing too crazy though. Um, but she's just having a good time. Did we already get um, our order taken? Yeah, so I think Mariella or Tony, I don't remember, ordered our order. But let's give her a heartfelt compliment. Um, Tony has to pee. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, do a little bit of something, <laughs> something, something. That is the UI uh, extension cheats mod or whatever um, that I can be able to do this. I love it so much. <laughs> it helps a lot, especially when your game is just being dumb. But we got our food and it looks so good. Are you seeing this? Like this espresso even? Also, do you say espresso or espresso? I say espresso because I watched this video one time that was like, actually, it's not espresso. It's espresso. Um, these are things that Americans say wrong. And I'm like, oh no, I've been saying it wrong my whole life. <laughs> but go ahead and eat your stuff, girl. It looks so good. She is such a caring, loving person. But if you mess with her family or her friends, like, she will beat you the fuck up, okay? Like, she will not, she does not mess around with the people that she loves. But I guess she drank all of her espresso. Yeah, she did. Okay, go ahead. And, I, I don't know why the Sims don't uh, eat their whole meal. Like, I know it's kind of realistic because not all of us eat all of our food at a restaurant. But, like, I'm going to a restaurant to, like, lift up my Sims hunger. Like, if she just eats one bite and the rest and she has, like, still yellow at the hunger. I'm like, what's the point? You know what I'm saying? But... I wonder what uh, Mariella is talking about. Maybe <laughs> she's like, Tony, I can't wait to move out. Mom and dad are driving me nuts, which they don't really feel like that. They love their mama and papa, but <laughs> she's probably just kidding. She's like, Tony, I want to move in with you, um, which we might consider. Actually, I'm not very sure if Tony would be OK with Mariella living with her, which obviously she would. But, you know, you just got to kind of think about these things because one more person in our household equals more bills that we have to pay. And Tony's not making too much money right now, so just gotta kind of be careful with that. I do also definitely want to implement some other mods in this game. Uh, maybe base mental mod. Um, I don't know about Wicked Whims, honestly, but I do want to add some more games or some more mods in this game for some more realistic gameplay because on my channel just a fair warning i am i love realistic gameplay and i love storytelling so there will be some aspects in this let's play which will, might be triggering to some um so i will put a trigger warning in the description of videos that are kind of iffy um like for example my 
100 Baby Challenge, uh, Matriarch's Create a Sim. It had to do with alcoholism, her backstory. So I did put a trigger warning in there just to be courteous uh, to my viewers. But you see how long it takes? Like it's actually 3 o'clock PM and we got here at what? Like 10 or 11? Um, but I, <laughs> I think we're done. We're gonna end the meal. Who is this pretty woman? Joe? Looks like we don't have a good relationship with her right now. I don't know what happened. Um, but that was very delicious, Mariela. Tony's like, I got the bill. Don't worry about it, sis. Um, but let's go ahead and give her a hug. And then we'll go ahead and head on home. Nothing really much to do today. Um, let's see. We do have a daily task to read books, um, for our job. So I might have Tony read a few books of her own. But let's go ahead and head home and I will pick up with you guys at the house. All right, you guys, so we are home and Tony is feeling confident from her self-assured trait. So uh, self-assured Sims are often feeling pretty confident. So like I said, she is a pretty confident girl, but I love how she's sitting on the pillows next to her bed. Um, she likes to throw her pillows on the ground when she's not using them. But she is reading, what is it? Um, Love in the Time of Sandwiches. And she actually has the option to analyze it because she is a bookworm which i had no idea that was a thing and i kind of want to see what that is but maybe we can check that out later but she's going to go ahead and read a little bit for her job so it says just started i'm not sure how long she has to read but she also has a fish um a little bit of a tetra right here and i actually kind of want to name it but i'm not sure what to name the tetra so <laughs> let me know any name suggestions you have for uh, mr tetra um i'm <laughs> very curious i don't know if it's a girl or a boy i mean you choose i have no idea idea but i think i'm gonna go ahead and end the part right here um first parts are always kind of weird you know just talking about the backstory so obviously part two will not be as talkative as this or as mundane as this but i do hope you guys enjoyed let me know what you guys think about this new let's play i'm super super excited i'm already super invested which um really makes me happy i love to get invested um with my sims so don't forget to leave a like if you like the video and turn on your post notifications so you get notified whenever i post the part two for this series and as always don't forget to subscribe for more sims 4 videos bye y'all